one. Eight. Well, Ronnie looks on to ding with this great opportunity. He'd love to get rid of the red that's Nine. to the left of the black to clear the black into both corner pockets. Just finished with a little bit more angle. There's no major problem, just a little bit more angle than he wanted here. Felt he had to go into the pack. And, well, I don't think he's on anything easy. I'm not Six. sure he needed to play the shot like that there. I think it was a risk that possibly didn't need to take. Okay, you'd say he's unlucky not to be on anything easy, but did take a risk. Well, that's very handy. That is very handy to have that plan available. Who's going to go first, John? You or me? Three reds, three blacks. There, I've done it. You've done it. How the momentum in this match has swung. Twenty-five. Again, he would have he would have liked to have been either high on the black, slightly high, or straight to be able to. Play for the red to the left of the black into the same pocket. That's the that's the headache at the moment. If that red's not there, this is an easy chance to win the frame. It's just causing a little bit of annoyance. Search tool. Over two thousand people, but you can hear a pin drop. Thirty-three. And this time he's nicely on the black. Will he risk trying to move this red? He'd love to, as Stephen said, get this red to the left of the black out of the way. It makes the black easily available into both corners. This red is, is definitely missable because he's got to 40. play it with pace to get up for the black. Two frames in a row. He's got momentum. I don't expect him to miss it. Yeah, well played. So it's all one now. Okay, winning the frame is a priority. And that's all we'll be thinking about, but the way the reds are situated, this could be a very, very big break. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. He's already made one four seven at the Masters, Ding Junhui. One of the few players actually to do that. Back in two thousand seven. And this shot tells you what he's thinking. 57. Because it was easier to follow through and play for pink to the right corner. If it was a deciding frame, I'm not sure whether he would have played for the black off that last red. But he's still in Six prime four. position. And that's made things even easier. Yep, yeah, this black and one more red clinches the frame. So all eyes now on the maximum. 72.
73. As I said, it's not been many at the Masters, but gee, what am I? First memories of the Masters, I think it was Kurt Eight Stevens' two. 147 in that white suit all them years ago. What a tournament to make a 147 in. 81. Only three players have made one four seven. I knew there was many. Ding. Eighty nine. I think it's Marco Fu and Kirk Stevens. Come on, Ding. Seven. It's okay, he's got a slight angle. That's the centre, perfect on the red by the pink. Bigger fish to fry. Oh, he's not been hanging around in this break either. Now this is the shot. Do you play for the red to the same pocket as the black or do you play for it to right middle? He's played for it to the same pocket. Needs a cue ball to travel. Absolutely perfect. Apart from that split when he relied on the plan, he's had the cue ball on an absolute string on this break. Oh, doesn't want to be too straight in the black. Mm, good shot needed now, if he wants to make the yellow easy. Deep screw. He's cued it absolutely beautifully. In fact, he wants it to slow down a bit. 20. This yellow is tricky. Across the nap, he'll have to drop it in dead weight. Get in. What a shot. What a shot. Yeah, he needed to trust his technique. Stay still. Four and 25. It never ceases to amaze you, this game, Stephen, does it? I mean, in the first four frames, he was really struggling. Ronnie gave him a lifeline, and boy, has he grabbed it now. And what a moment. Blue, pink and black for the Macti. Just slightly more angle than he wanted. He's got to get the cue ball on and off the cushion. Go on, cue ball. Perfect. Perfect. Second ever maximum at the Masters.